Hi, Opie and Straws here. I wasn't really sure what video to do, but I did notice that I had a few comments implying that I should do some traditional art. So, I have some traditional birdies. I had art block for a while and every time I started something, I just couldn't finish it or I didn't like it or I just didn't have the inspiration to make it look good. But I think I'm good now, which is a big relief. I guess a bonus for doing traditional art is that there's a hand reveal if you get excited by those kinds of things. Wow, look, it's my hand. Isn't this so exciting? Just look at it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. So I just started off with this sketch, just planning out some poses for this cockatiel that I'm going to be drawing. I guess this is a little like that green cheek piece I did, but traditional. and fade proof pen in black and the size 0.5 since I like slightly thicker lines. It will be linked in the description if you want to take a look. For colouring I got this Ohuhu 72 alcohol dual tip set for my birthday and that will also be linked in the description. When it comes to picking colours, I always look at my swatches just to get an idea, as the colour and opacity, if you like, will vary depending on the paper you use. So after I pick them roughly, I swatch them on the paper I will be using. Also, just as a side note, just ignore Naira in the background. She just screamed. She got spooked by something. I don't know what, but just ignore her. So dim green, which I might add is not green, will be the main colour of the body. Barium yellow will be the head, rose beige will be the cheeks, and warm grey 3 will be the beak and feet. I also use warm grey 1 for some light shading. I also add some highlights using the Sakura Jelly Roll 0.8 in the colour white. Again, it will be linked in the description. I want these little pictures to be popping out of the page, so I cut them out, leaving a thin white border and then fold a piece of card back and forth like a paper fan and just stick one end to the drawing and another to the page. Here it is more slowly. Again, just fold it a few times over itself until you have something like this. Then I just repeat this whole entire process for all the other drawings. So while I'm doing the others, I wanted to talk about my goals for this channel and just give the people who watch me a bit of context I guess. I read the first two books of Wings of Fire by 2 T Sutherland and I just adored it. That's when I started to draw dragons on paper. What is that? And then eventually I moved on to digital art and I used some apps such as Autodesk Sketchbook. When I felt like the investment would be worth it, I bought Procreate and I have never regretted it. Then I started to read Warrior Cats by Erin Hunter and then started my cat drawing journey. If I ever reach 1000 subscribers, I really want to be more involved with my viewers whenever I can and I will be community posting and hopefully streaming and you guys can decide what I draw next. I have big plans for this channel and I'm so glad that all of you have joined me for this journey so far.
If you have any suggestions for future videos, please drop a comment because I'm running out of ideas. If you want to see any bird videos or maybe challenges, let me know and don't forget to like, subscribe, check the description box to find my red bulbar shop and as always, have a wonderful week. Why you tuck your foot in? You're chillin'. Chillin'. You look chill.